this video we're going to show how to ohm out compressor for an air conditioner okay if you get to where you turn your air conditioner on and let's say a circuit breaker trips if you got a dirty condenser coil and I mean dirty right here where you know if, don't know if you can see how well but I have another video talking about it that's really dirty Break your trips, suspect this bad boy right here. That's just going to be the number one. Yes, a shorted out condenser fan can cause the breaker to trip, but most of the time on an older system, it's going to be the compressor. One thing I like to do, what I was taught, take a file, scratch the paint there. If you try to touch, you know, for example, like this, you're wasting time. You're not going to get any type of readings that you can use because this paint will insulate the metal to where you can't get a reading. Also, you want to disconnect the wiring connection so you pretty much isolate the component. If you go to ohm things out and you don't isolate the component, you're not going to get any readings worth anything type of deal. Your electricity will find a way to make contact. So if you went you know, oh hey, let me do here and here, and you got a reading. Doesn't mean your compressor shorted. It just found a pathway back to the capacitor or something to ground like that. Then your meter, a little omega symbol there, kind of like the horseshoe-looking deal. That's your ohm setting. When you flick it over to ohms. Touch your meter leads together to make sure, I don't know how well you can see, but they'll say 000 to confirm your meter's working. Because if you just do this, oh I got OL, you're condemning compressors that aren't bad, it's your meter that's not working right. So if you wonder how I'm able to get these terminals off so easy, I pre-did it. So they just pop off. Make note of it, this unit is getting ready to go to scrapyard so it doesn't matter on the terminals there and you put the probe like that probe to the terminal says OL on the meter congratulations this terminal is not short to ground I like to check all the terminals just to make sure just like that no OL no mega ohms this compressor would be good so this will not be the reason why circuit breaker trips. Now if we went like this, you know, to the bare metal, to the terminal, and had, let's say, 3 ohms, your compressor shorted to ground. Now if it had said something like an ohms reading of, let's say, 5 million ohms to ground, not that this is going to cause it to trip because you have such a high ohms reading but your compressor is going out it's slowly dying type of thing so even though it still would function possibly I mean there's little variables that can affect it but it's slowly going out now if you had let's say 30 million ohms you're probably going to make it through the air conditioner season if it said 5 million ohms well, you're either going to make it through the season or not, but you definitely need to plan on getting a new air conditioner. So, hopefully this will help on ohming out compressors. Bye-bye.